Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will crochet this uh, round motif or circle motif. Uh, you can use it as a coaster or you can uh, use it, um, I don't know what else you can use it for. Um, make a few and frame them and uh, use them as wall art. Let me know down in the comment section what would you use uh, circle motifs for besides um, coasters. Anyway, this is the solid color. This is how it looks like. I chose gray because it's easier to see the stitches uh, on camera. And this is the colorful version uh, where I changed colors each uh, round. Uh, for the yarn, I used, I love this yarn by uh, Hobby Lobby. These are the specifications of the yarn. It's a medium number four, 100% acrylic. Requires a 5.5 millimeter hook, but I used a five millimeter hook for uh, lesser gapping. And um, I this is medium blue. I don't remember what is this is called. Probably jeans, uh, a white and a gray yarn. Don't remember the names, but if you have a Hobby Lobby, you can easily find um, all that yarn with all the colors. And if you're ready, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, grab your yarn, crochet hook, and let's get to work. We will start with a magic ring. Um, this is how I do it. You do it however you um, want. So I'm holding the tail, go around the two fingers, crisscross and hold it with my um, ring finger and pinky. Then go underneath the yarn, that first strand, grab the second strand, pull through and turn and pull the tails to the left, holding the tail. Now we need to put uh, 12 uh, double crochets. So chain three counts as the first double crochet. We add 11 more. Yarn over, insert into the uh, circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have three, yarn over, into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If I'm going too fast, there is a toggle in the corner, uh, you can adjust the playback speed. So four, we need a total of 12. Go ahead and add 12 double crochets. 11 and 12. Count and then gently pull the tail. If it doesn't close completely, leave it. Don't push it so it's not uh, like uneven. You don't want it to drape, you want it to be flat. And slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. Like so. So this is round number one, the right side and the wrong side. Next we need dou two double crochets together. Chain two counts as the first unfinished double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the same loop, into the same stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And now yarn over, pull through two. These are two double crochets together chain one into the next stitch we'll do the same yarn over insert into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two leave it unfinished yarn over insert into the same space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two now yarn over pull through all three loops chain one into the next stitch yarn over Insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Two unfinished, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Got two double crochets together. 
chain one and this is how you're gonna go all the way around when you complete the round chain one and slip stitch into the top of these two round number two is done and it's um, bending a little bit but it should straighten as we go all right slip stitch into the chain one space to the left chain three that will count as a double crochet and we need two more double crochets into the same space so three double crochets into the chain one space from the previous row chain one move into the next chain one space and put three double crochets in it one two three repeat chain one move into the next chain one space three double crochets one two three and once you are done you will chain one and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning to finish off this round this is what we're looking at slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch into the next and slip stitch into the chain one space this is where we want to be chain three counts as a double crochet add two more double crochets into the same space chain two we're gonna repeat basically the previous round only this time we will be chaining two in between the groups of three double crochets move into the next chain one space and put three double crochets in it one two three chain two to the next chain one space one two three chain two and move into the next chain one space so on all the way around once you've completed the round chain two slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning of the round and this is what we have and the last round we will slip stitch into the second double crochet chain one and single crochet into it so one single crochet into the second double crochet of the previous row moving into the chain two space here we will put four double crochets one two three four single crochet into the second double crochet and move into the chain two space we'll put four double crochets again that's our repeat two three four single crochet into the second double crochet once you've done the last four double crochets you will slip stitch into your very first single crochet chain one pull a long tail and this is the finished look the right side and the wrong side and this is the other version where i changed colors each uh, row uh, round um, if you are into working these tails <laughs> good luck but uh, you're gonna have a few but it does look uh, much prettier versus solid color but it's a preference i would probably go with the solid color uh, if you are into uh, mini colors into a colorful work uh, this is how it's gonna look approximately um, only here you're gonna cut the yarn each row uh, around and um, you will start as well uh, the same steps like here only um, 
you don't have to slip stitch your way into the um, into the chain one space you will join exactly into the space chain three and add your double crochets same here the other row you don't need to slip stitch your way into the next chain one space you will cut the yarn and uh, join right here chain three and uh, same here uh, I joined into the chain two space chain three that counts as a double crochet and carried on and finish the round with a single crochet slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning so this would be the only difference but um, other than that all the stitches everything is the same and i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial give it a thumbs up ring the bell subscribe all that good stuff i will see you next sunday bye